So we could tell just by looking at the first two. Don't, don't delete it. Don't delete it, Dan. Don't delete it. Oh my God. Uh, Fucking guy. Okay, let me. So the first two down votes are clearly by. Uh, let's see here, by Alan Deese, and then uh, where was the other one? I don't know. I don't know. So, whatever. Okay, let's discuss. Hello, how is everybody doing? Top of the morning too. I was literally in the middle of a Twitch live, and I started covering a lot of this, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go live on YouTube because that's kind of where this all started. And some people, some yeah. So, uh, let me just get into this, right? Okay. Let's discuss. So, the other day, I did a live, right? And uh, I, I made it very clear. I, my opinion, right, you can either listen to or you can ignore it. Of course, you can have your own opinion. Welcome to the world and being a human being. But the problem is, is when you disagree. First off, let me just, uh, I'm going to, let me backtrack. I digress. So the title of the video, drama, right? Like I'm always the one that starts drama. Uh, no, no, that that's not how it works. What happens is, is people make stupid fucking posts that I'm about to show you now. And then I respond to it. And then because I respond to it, I'm starting drama. No, no, I'm just responding to it. What you make of it, it's the people that respond. The These people that make these posts and talk shit or make videos about me, you have to understand that you're equivalent to someone that would start a fight and then complain after you got your ass kicked after starting that fight. That's what you're doing. That That's exactly what you're doing. So this drama, okay, that I, I and even if you go back on my whole channel, there's been very, very... I think two times is when I've actually attacked somebody with no basis. Uh, no, I, I actually take that back. There's been one time where I've attacked somebody with no basis. Either I get called out, someone tries to make a stupid friggin' comment about me and I respond to it, or uh, someone says something nasty to Bree, but there's never been a time where I've just implemented it. I'll do a review on someone's product and they want to be defensive. They want to be an internet tough guy. The new sensation to where you can win a participation trophy just by responding to a YouTube comment because you're that guy. You're a, you're, you have all the balls in the world. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into this. I'm going to show you this little uh, oh, four down votes. Uh, but people don't want to hear the fucking truth. Give me a second. So I'm going to respond to this post right here just because, well, it's uh, whatever. Let's let's go over this. Here we go. So this is a post that happened in Vaping with Vic's group. This has got nothing to do with Vic. This was just happened in his group, right? And people say, I do drama. Well, Mr. Terry does drama over here. Anyone here still watch Jay Hayes? I do just to see what drama he comes up with. I don't come up with fucking drama. I tell you how I feel about something and how you interpret that is going to make it whatever it is. On his last video, he did a live stream. He's talking about that video that I just did. He claimed none of the mods, BMT, none of the, he claimed none of the mods, tanks, or juice will pass the BMTA except for Jewel and things like it from Big Tobacco. On top of that, he claims the taxes will be so high that we will all go back to smoking cigarettes. I call bullshit on all of it. First off, I didn't say that. I, I didn't, I, I, nope. Okay. Let's start on the top. I already mentioned the drama thing. He claimed that none of the mods tanks all the mods, all the tanks, and all the juice, if not, have already been denied, right? They're not going to get approved. I don't know what you fucking need to see uh, aside from the FDA putting out the list of all the companies and the juices that were denied. They will not get approved. I don't know what you need. I Maybe you need this, uh... Let, 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 here, maybe this is what you need, right? Here's the list, right? Of, I, I could give you the link. I'll give you the link to this, right? So you can look at this. But every single vape company, I promise you, uh, whether it is uh, J Vapors, right? Whether it is Cosmic Fog, whether it is Seven Days, right? They've all been denied, right? Like, the, it, it is what it is. There's still some on this list that have not been denied, but I promise you will. 
Uh, there's the Jay Vapor, right? And uh, Juice Guys, right? Huge, huge, huge distribution. They're all going to be denied, okay? Midwest Vape Supply, that's that's a while ago. Right, I know Vape Tasia is somewhere on here. SS Vape Brands, Monster Vape Labs, that's, that's, that's a big company. That was back in August. But there it is, Vape Tasia, 916. That's a recent one. So all of this list, and there is some hardware companies on there. But it's like people don't want to hear the truth. Jewel, <laughs> I promise you will get approved. You can mark this day down in your book. You do whatever you want to do. But people making comments like that, and then obviously this guy deleted his comment because I never said that people are all going to go back to smoking cigarettes. I said essentially cigarettes will be... Uh, Vaping will be taxed more than cigarettes. And I said people in New Jersey have all went back to smoking cigarettes because, well, they, uh, uh, you can't get vapes anymore, right? But don't, don't just assume that I start drama on YouTube for views. First off, creating videos on YouTube, the purpose is to get views. That's why people do it where a guy's playing a violin, but there's a stripper in the background with her nipples covered up by Elmer's Pace Glue. Like th th there's a reason people make videos, Right. It's it just like I'm, I'm telling you now that they're not going to get approved. Uh, you guys remember when I met when when members only, uh, not members only, but when I launched a subscriber base on my channel, people were like no one's going to pay for that. That's stupid. YouTube is free. It's people like that. That is a drain on society. How do you think YouTube pays for those servers? YouTube premium or, you know, a guy that uploads a three hour long video or a 24 hour stream. Where do you think that data gets stored? Right. Anyway, let, let, I digress. So I, I told you guys that everybody was going to do that. Guess what? Everybody did it. You can opt out of that. You can. Any content creator says it's on by default. You can shut that off. You shut it off. Uh, people gave me shit when I did Patreon. Oh, this is stupid. No one's going to do it. Everybody fucking did it. I'm telling you that it's going to be banned. So when it's finally banned, Mr. Terry over here can shut his asshole because you don't you don't have an argument. The fact of the matter is that every vape juice company, I promise you, none of them are going to get approved. None. Now, Jewel may make it where they, uh, down the road, or RJ Reynolds, or whatever, Imperial Tobacco, I think Imperial's even on this list, I Imperial Tobacco, they may make a juice down the road, Imperial Vapors, not tobacco, they may make a juice down the road, What's going on, Vic? That may get approved, but that that's not going to be the type of juice that we know today. Right? What else do you need? Do you, do you just want to wait longer and see? Guys, I cannot stress to you enough. I mean, even now, whether or not you're going to find a lot of these websites that are selling, they're, they're going to start running amok. And I, I've covered this already, and I don't want to recover it again, but I feel like some people just don't register what I'm saying. Like I'm talking out of my ass or being, full, being filled with hate. I'm not. I'm telling you how it is. I'm keeping it real. I could give you some bullshit thing where, you know, vaping will be okay. We'll go back to what we were 10 years from now. No, no, the fuck we won't. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be keep cursing. It, it's it's not professional. It just, I, I don't, don't say that I, I'm all over the place. Don't say that I start drama when you make a post quoting something I said, but manipulating the words that are coming out of my mouth. And then saying that it's bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's not. Jewel, Vipe, Vape, Vipe? Never heard of that. And Blue will be, two of them will be, absolutely, Vic. Absolutely they will be approved. Because they have the money to do it. Right? And what does that do? That that makes the market in, uh, you know, we were just kind of talking a little bit while I was live, but... Um, what that's going to do is a lot of the companies that are sending to American reviewers, they're going to start pulling out, start pulling out. You know, Zofi had mentioned this on her channel. Uh, she had mentioned on her channel, a couple videos that she's getting less and less of the products that the male vape reviewers are getting. I don't know if I a hundred percent agree with that, but then again, I don't know because I'm in the same bracket she's in just less of a bracket. So that, that could be possible, but she's going to see a lot of pod style devices because they're not going to waste the time or waste the money in, in, in making a device for it to cost so much and them not sell enough. As much as people may argue and be like, oh, USA is such a small market, bullshit. 
look at the population of America. And, and I'm not trying to be conceited or, or cocky. Look at the population of America, the amount of people that vape in America versus their sales, right? It's very easy to find an American website that sells vape products versus looking in, um, I, don't, I don't know. Let me give you Indonesia as an example. Philippines, that's even better. Right, I'm giving you two countries that don't like vaping, so those are bad examples. But you get what I'm saying. It's a huge market that China's going to lose out on, and the, the, it, eventually there are going to be no more mods. There's no, there's going to be no more uh, Mr. Reviewer or Mrs. Reviewer uh, vape products. It, it's just going to slowly die off. And this, I, I get what the argument could be, and and I do kind of see this argument that what's to say that FDA is going to go to these different shops and shut them down? There's too many shops all over America. I'm not saying that it won't happen, right? Because there are places that sell illegal shit now. And FDA, ATF, they don't really bother with them because it's it's just, it's too minuscule. Go after the big fish, like the distribution companies, and then whatever we have left over, if there's a shop that's sitting around for five years, we'll go visit that, okay? I do agree that it is going to take some time for brick and mortars to be shut down or visited by the FDA, but you also have to keep in mind, I've shown you guys the video of when the FDA came in here. Well, they sent a contractor that worked for the FDA, and then they did the inspections, they took pictures of everything, and that didn't happen once. It happened three times. Three times! Now, of course, I, I have a presence on YouTube, so it makes me a little bit more visible, but that will happen to all the shops, especially now that they're coming down the line and they're listing all the things that should not be on the market, even though they shouldn't have been on the market to begin with, but they still are. And they'll probably remain remain on the market for, I don't know, the next year to two years, but you're gonna have to go to a brick and mortar. You're gonna have to buy it illegally online. And then they submit your information to the ATF. If that's what you wanna do, then uh, have at it. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know why. I do these videos. It's not like I don't care about vaping, right? I think everybody knows that. Even the people that hate me are going to tell you that I like vaping. There, there, there's no seat. You always see me vaping, right? I don't smoke cigarettes, and I and I thank vape for that. But the vape that we know it now, if you're in America, is going to be very hard to maintain, even if you do it yourself. Like a lot of these companies are not even selling nicotine anymore. They're selling synthetic nicotine, which will be the next thing to be attacked. Everything that you, you you try to swap out will be attacked. CBD will be attacked. THC, well, they might be attacked, but they're going to win. Right? That, that <laughs> It's just a matter of time before it's federally legal. You, you get enough of states that do it, it it's going to get to a point where, okay, you know what? We got 42 states that all want weed legal. They're going to fold up shop, call it a day. I did, John, but people, I, I said this two years ago when we were doing that little, uh, well, not to, yeah, Trump. So two years ago, right? Was that Trump? It was Trump. I, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. I always get my years kind of jostled about, but nobody wants to hear it. Again, it's great to do vape videos. It's fantastic. It's nice to have members on this channel, but at the same time, you have to accept the fate. You have to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Stop saying I do fucking drama when you start a post or you do a video on me saying I do drama. What do I think about the Canadian market? Well, even if you look at the Canadian market, right? They got the flavor ban on the on the desk now. That's a thing. Well, I think certain parts of Canada, right? I, 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 don't, I don't know much about Canada. Yeah, I don't... I, I can't speak too much on Canada because I only know that certain provinces, provinces, are, um, that have v flavor bans. I don't think it's all of Canada, though. I may be wrong. But whatever, whatever America's doing, other countries are going to do as well. Again, not being conceited or cocky, but usually people look up to America. I don't know how, since the guy that we have in office can't even finish his sentence, but they do. Right, or they're also making a mockery of us. So they're they're <laughs> like it, I, I'm not even going to talk about politics right now because that's another story in itself. But they're all going to start to do what America's doing. Oh, you know what? We'll get uh, whatever. They're doing it. We're going to do it too. 
So if Canada, being our, you know, uh, direct relative as far as geography is concerned, it'll happen. It'll happen in Canada. No, I, I don't think UK will. No, I think UK is kind of on the sideline, and and that's good for people like Vic. Even um, him getting you know more products because Americans are not. But they're going to push a lot of disposables. That's what they're going to do. Here's a disposable. Shove it down people's throat. Tell everybody how great disposables are. Or whatever. Whether it's a disposable or, you know, a little pod jammy where you have a pod. It's not necessarily a disposable in a sense. But it is a, for lack of better terms, an e-cigarette. Right? It's not It's not a vape product in a traditional sense of what we do is vaping. Thank you, Matthew. I got you, brother. Matthew. Ugh. Matthew. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd say that UK is safe. Obviously, you guys do have uh, stipulations or things that are happening. Vic, you still in here? Do you want to come on and talk about the, uh, uh, <coughs> the vape situation that you started mentioning to me? Well, yeah, they are the problem, 772, because Jewel is what, I hate using Jewel in this reference, but they're not the first ones to do that, right? Like, my jet was before Jewel. Uh, that's kind of the first one that sticks out to me. But there were other companies that did what Jewel did. Jewel just marketed it correctly. Or I guess in the FDA's eyes, incorrectly. Okay, let me let me. Sh I'm gonna shoot you the link, uh, and then you could join up, and then I'll pair you in, brother man. It's amazing when I do a do a all seven dislikes. Seven people don't like me telling them how it is. Ad guests, Shaggy. Thanks, Powder. Shoot you a link here, Vic. You should be good to go with this. <coughs> I sent it a Facebook Messenger. <clears throat> I do love how people reference my video, and then you covered that as well. But it wasn't good enough for people in your own group. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I don't. I don't think anybody can really foresee the future of what's going to happen vaping negatively. We can guess, we can estimate, but considering that FDA has postponed or or looked into Juul a little bit further, that kind of raises a flag. Like, hey, we're probably going to approve this. I sent that over to you, Vic. By the way. Amen to that, Ricky. Amen to that. Because I'm telling you, a lot of these companies, what I was saying earlier, is a lot of these companies are not even selling nicotine, right? They're doing a synthetic shit now. I've never vaped on... The only nicotine that I've used was that... It wasn't naked. What well, Nectar. Nectar used... Um, yeah, TFN. Was it TFN? Ne Nectar used TFN, and I wasn't the biggest fan. Yet. Hey, sexy man. I have never used this site before. Is it okay for you? I mean, you... Yeah, it's actually a lot more easier. Oh, yeah, it's just a link. Just a link, you click it's it. It's a lot more easier. Good. Damn. So what's up, man? Nothing much. Just taking each day as it comes. <laughs> just taking each day as it comes. So what? what's happening in the UK? You, were, so you shoot me a message about uh disposables what what's happening there right see when when the whole disposable thing was going down over in the united states they weren't being released here because the problem is the united states and the uk and the eu market 
are two completely different markets. It's the nicotine caps. That's what was putting them off from releasing over here. So then the United States market decides to basically drop its pants and take a shit because of the UK, because of the US government. So now we've got Geek we've got Geek Bar, we've got Vaptio releasing two disposables at the same time, the Beco Mate. The Beco Mate and the Beco Bar. The Beco Bar is basically, it looks exactly the same as a dual except shorter. Put it this way, see, see for the last the last three months, this is from round about the very beginning of summer of this year, I've had one or two disposable review requests every single week. Oh, yeah. Not every month, every single week for the past. And it's from companies I've never heard of. Sure, sure. But the, <laughs> but the ones that you're getting, right, are pre-filled already? Like Ju- Pre-filled, yeah, they're wow. pre-filled. Wow. I don't pre-filled see those at, often. I don't see pre-filled those at, uh, Pre-filled at 20 milligram. That's the cap limit. You can't go higher than that here. T- pre-filled at 20 milligram nicotine salt. And so that's, I guess that's the cap of UK, right? The TPD yep. is that you can't go past that. Can't go past that. Okay. All right. So where do you see, is the UK doing anything right now in regards to not allowing disposables as a whole, or do they push that more than, you know, the way that we vape with the tanks and the RDAs? The way that it's looking right now, right the UK is a lot more prepared for this. This is no slight against what happened over in the United States, but the fact is we are more prepared for this. The uh, UK VIA and the IBVTA, which are the two massive trade groups that cover wholesaling distribution and shops like uh, UK VIA is the biggest one. They're already planning to sit down with the UK government uh, probably after the summer recess, or in fact, the summer recess is finished, so probably before the Christmas recess, they're planning to sit down with either the Science and Tech Commission or one of the all-party parliamentary boards, and at least from what I've heard, one of the two groups, it's probably going to be UK via, they're basically going to come right out and say, we demand that disposable vapes get banned in the United Kingdom outright. Just a flat ban. Okay, but you have but you have groups as well that want them to be allowed, no? Not really. <laughs> well, yeah, because Jewel, right? Jewel isn't sold in the UK, or is it? Oh, it was, but they failed miserably and had to pull out the UK market because again, it's that twenty milligram cap. Right. The whole selling point of Jewel was fifty milligram. Right, you can't right, sell right. it here. Wow. So you so you can't even that don't they make a, a two milligram uh, a twenty milligram one? No, I thought Jewel did. Yeah, 0.25. They no? did. Yeah, they did. But the problem is Jewel 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 didn't enter like Jewel entered the US market round about the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. They didn't come here until long after the Caliburn was released. Long after other podcasts were released that were pre-filled wow. already with 18 to 20. They were they were too late for the UK and EU market. The other new the other news is the the heat not burn crap. Yeah, garbage. Garbage. That had to pull out that that they pulled out of the UK market about two months ago because they weren't selling. So the so they actually well, so I guess it wasn't an IQOS. It was probably just that yeah, it was it was IQOS. Oh, it was. And they yeah, just they, didn't they, do they, good they, at all. <laughs> they they, they had they had to shut down ninety percent of their high street stores. Just gone. Wow. <laughs> so when you're watching when you watch like TV, right, like your commercials and stuff, do you see a lot of vaping commercials on like whatever? Not allowed to. Add, you're, 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 the, it's because of the current, to, even though we've done the Brexit thing, right. the TPD2 was basically copied word for word and it was turned into the TRPR UK Act. The rumour is 2022, the UK government's going to be rewriting it. And the rumour is the 10, the 10 mil bottle capacity limit is being dropped. 
And there's another rumour that the 20 milligram nicotine cap limit is going to be raised to 30, but that's just a rumour. But part of that TRPR says, essentially, you really cannot advertise e-cigarettes or vaping until after nine o'clock in the evening on <laughs> British television, after the watershed. Right, right, when all the, when all the kids are essentially asleep. So, yep. so, so vaping in the UK then isn't, it doesn't seem like it's going to go away. It seems like no. it's going to, if anything, it's going to flourish more. You've got the National Health Service, the government funded health service. Oh, social care and all that, Pash. But you've got the government funded National Health Service. They're now openly seeing, openly seeing vaping is a way to give up smoking. They're seeing it publicly. And you guys, so you don't need like a prescription or anything to get, so you can't get higher nick at all, no matter what. If you're a DIY maker, like I make my own, I make my own peach custard. Right. Nice plug. <laughs> Go ahead. If you're a business owner, right, there's a way around it. If and you want to business... buy his shoes, contact him. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not selling it. I'm not okay, selling it. Go ahead. Yeah. But if, if you're a DIY, if you're a DIYer, and you know someone who runs their business, or you know the couple of tricks that you can do. I've got 72 milligram nicotine in the cabinet through there that I use to mix with my juice. But I managed to get it because vaping with Vic is a business. It's registered as vaping with Vic, so that's the way round that I can use. But there's other ways to do it. I know some DIY makers that get their juice shipped in from France. And what would the government do if, let's just say, a consumer was to have that juice? Would they confiscate it or they just don't care? Nine times out of ten, they just don't care. Right. <laughs> right. The UK government's got bigger fish to fry. I mean, the way it looks in America, I'm sure you're you know, paying attention to some of the news. I know you were saying something that you mentioned on your, what, uh, your, your What's Up uh, video you did on Sunday. But, I mean, the way it's looking for Americans is... Um, it's quite grim. Here's what that, that that what's up. That I don't know how many of your viewers watched the what's up last week, but what you're looking at right now is the open, and it's not even hidden. It's under everyone's fucking nose in the United States. You're looking at the takeover of what's left of the vaping industry by big tobacco, because the FDA has already said they've already stated this that they are pushing market share devices. So this is devices that have got a large market share in the vaping market in the United States. They're already pushing them up to the top of the list. What's the three companies, three companies that have got the biggest market share? Jewel, Blue, and Vipe. But I think the Vipe is called something different over there. Yeah, I don't, when you said that, I would assume that would probably be Blue. Uh, or the logics, BLU. I, it could wait, be the logic, yeah. Yeah, Lo yeah, logic. Logic and blue are the same company. Right, right. That's uh, but I yeah. think that's who, who Vipe it. I, I don't know. Oh, v views is what it is. Oh, that's views. views. That's what they're called. Yeah, they're called Vipe here. Vipe is now yeah, it's views. Okay, okay. So that's yeah. I think that's Marlboro that makes them or something. So yeah. yeah. Right. They're going to be pushed to the top of the queue. And the only reason the Food and Drug Administration would push companies like that to the top of the queue is very simple. They're going to be past five, well, it'll be over five million now, over five million. Let that number sink in, people. Five million PMT applications have been binned by the FDA over the past month and a half. They don't want to hear this talking... shit, though, Vic. They don't, people don't want to hear it. They don't wanna, <laughs> I, I'm talking out of no. my ass. Like, they don't want to hear it. Oh, no, I, my, my <laughs> local vape store said that I'm still going to be able to get shit. Well, look, I don't care what your fucking vape store is telling you. I'm telling you that this is law. This is how it is. This is what's denied. If if, if a vape store sells to you, they're doing it illegally, right? It's It's... Yeah. So, so the views, so views in your country, you can get then, or you can't. Or oh, you can get it, but they're called they're called vape here. But no jewel. V. No jewel. No, they're basically gone. They're gone. The, the only the only place to... you the God God. The the only place you see jewel being sold here is in VPZ shops. That's the old vaporized shops. It's a big chain store, a big conglomerate chain store of uh, franchise vape shops, but. Mm. 
you don't see them anywhere. You don't see them in you don't see them in petrol stations. You don't see them in supermarkets. You don't see them in chemists. You only see them in VPZ. And the rumor is VPZ when the contract with Jewel finishes. The rumor is VPZ are going to drop them. So once once Jewel is out of vaporized shops in that the UK High Street, you can only get them online. You will not wow. get them in a shop. They screwed the Jewel completely screwed the pooch. They waited too long to get into oh, the yeah, UK absolutely. and the new market. Absolutely. They should have launched long. systematically through US, you know, done like a yeah. whole global thing, not just, hey, a little bit over yeah. here. But but again, they looked at the biggest market. You know, where's your biggest market? US. It's the US. Okay. Well, it was the US. It's not right, now. Right. Yeah, I don't know what it is now. But even when you, I, I don't know if you've ever tried any of these, bro, Jewels, Logics, Blues, they're just, they're not good. Like, they're... I had like the the old the old UK vape show, uh, which was the UK vape show of twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen. Uh, Gwen was the co-host, and she's over in America. She came over here on holiday, and she bought her fifty. She's a big jewel user. She bought her fifty milligram jewel pod with her with the tobacco in it. I had two draws on it, and I was seeing pink elephants circling my head. <laughs> Holy fuck! How the fuck can people vape in 50 they vape milligram? It, they vape Jesus. It. I, fuck. I, so when I go to, uh, when I go to like a casino, right? It's called Atlantic City. It's like Vegas, right? You know what Vegas is. So um, you, you could vape in there because you could smoke. And uh, typically speaking, I use like small disposables that have yeah. the juice already in it, like Hyde, Puff Bars, you know those. But they're high in neck. They're 50 milligrams. Bro, I hit that once. I can't vape again for i don't know an hour hour and a half <laughs> i i can't do it but they're not even good flavors it's just oh the, the flavor was horrible oh, just terrible. horrible they're terrible but that's what the vaping market in america is eventually going to come down to you know all these oh. small juice companies when the fda starts knocking on their door hey we told you that you had a essentially a cease and desist and you're still making it we're going to pull everything and then what do you do? You know, it sucks because there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are going to lose their jobs. A lot of companies are going to go under and there's no saving. I, I said, I said at the end of last week's What's Up, put your mind forward to this date in 2022. So we're talking one year from now. And the way I'm the way that what I said at the end of the what's up is I see no way out of this for the United States industry. Because here's the thing: if you go and protest, the FDA have already said we don't care. If you go and protest in front of the White House, the Democratic caucus base are anti-ESIG. Biden is anti-ESIG, and Kamala Harris even wrote two letters to the Food and Drug Administration and the CDC openly chastising them for not banning flavors already. So you've got your vice president anti-ESIG, you've got your lunatic president anti-ESIG, you've got the FDA anti-ESIG and not listening to you. You've got the CDC who have said, we're out of here, we're passing the blame to the Food and Drug Administration, and the current Food and Drug Administration commissioner is only there temporarily. She doesn't care either. No, but, <laughs> I'm t and it's like, everybody's like, oh, you know, call. And I'm... I don't want to take away from people their right to call whoever senators. Come. Yeah, nothing is going to change. I don't care what what they needed to do was someone, one of these companies. I hate saying this, but put X amount of money, 20 million, 200 million towards a, a campaign campaign donation for a president. Yes. And then, hey, this, um, you know, or Congress, exactly. whatever. But that's they the thing about the United States. That's the thing about United States politics, money talks. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, and a case in yeah. point, Jewel getting approved, right? Like, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's money. It's, they have, they, like I was saying the other day, but instead of a Jews company, right, submitting a PMTA of one file just to hold off for a year so they can sell, right? One, we'll just say it's one piece of paper. Jewel's is probably a thousand of those one piece of papers. Yeah. And like, here's all your data. So FDA is like, okay, we got to look through this. And you know it's going to happen. They're going to get approved. You you already know it. You, you if it doesn't get approved, oh, I'll be surprised. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't get approved. Because you're going to you're look you're going to be looking at logic slash blue, right. jewel right. and vape. At least two of them are going to get through. I'm at least two. Wonder, of them. 
makes me wonder about Enjoy as well. I don't know if you know what Enjoy is. That was a company that went out of business and they came back, but they, they, they came started back little, and, yeah. yeah, they had like little cigarettes. Well, compromises. Yep. yep, yep, yep. I think anything that you can sell in a 7-Eleven, <laughs> for lack of better terms, I don't know if you know what a 7-Eleven yeah. is, that's going to that's gonna all pass. It's going to all pass. Yeah. But here's the scary part, right? Here's the scary part. What What we're looking at right now is we're looking at we're looking at podcasts, essentially big tobacco podcasts being given the thumb up, thumb up by the Food and Drug Administration. But the FDA is laying a trap for 2022. And I am really surprised not a lot of people are seeing this trap. So you get Juul on the shelves in your local corner shop, your local gas stations, your supermarkets, your local corner, everywhere. Juul are going to be everywhere again. What's going to happen next? They're going to shut down Joel. Was that where you were going with this? No, I was going to. What's no? That th- will come later on. But what's going to happen next? Once you see all these podcasts everywhere, what's going to happen next? Bro, you got me baffled. I'm waiting. I'm on the edge of my seat. What's going to happen? Think of the children. Teen, t- the whole teen vaping thing, quietly got buried away. Think about it. Teen vaping was the big push that the Democrats were doing. Now they're back in, they shut up about it. If you see dual views slash vape and logic slash blue all over market right. shelves again, what do you think is going to happen with all these anti e groups? <gasps> Look at all these vapes and jewels and blues being bought. You think they're going to go back after them? Go after them? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna, they're, they are going to go straight down the road of look at the amount of teens that are vaping again. Now, here's the, here's the big trap. This is what I looked at, right? This is the big trap I was thinking about. They can't go after the flavors now because the FDA has essentially banned the flavors for them, right? So the, F- the FDA has done the work that the anti e establishment were already trying to do. So the anti e can't say, ban the flavors, ban the flavors, because the flavors are already gone. So the only recourse the anti e establishment have got left is ban vaping. Just get rid of podcasts altogether. I don't, but get I don't think they'll, I, again, I don't know law too well, but I would assume that once they get this, uh, the PMTA uh, accepted and it's good to go and then they could sell it, I'd, I think at that point it becomes law like how uh, cigarettes can't be touched. You know, you could touch no. menthol, but you can't touch regular tobacco, right? Like you, you can't. It's grandfathered in. I, yeah. I would assume that's what happens with Juul, but the. Look, I don't even see many kids vaping at all, right? Like, I just... I don't either, not yet. <laughs> I'm right around the corner from my high school. I see kids walking to <laughs> high school. I don't see anybody vaping. What I do see them vaping on, though, is, uh, like, I don't know if you... Well, you probably don't have these in UK, like, ghosts. So, ghosts are uh, THC in, like, a jewel device. You understand? Yeah, we don't so, have those here. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, <laughs> and and of course, being in a state where it's recreational, cops don't give a shit. But you do yeah. see kids vaping on those, and that will get you high. That to me seems like a bigger problem than vaping. Like a oh, way bigger problem, especially if you consider THC. And I'm I'm not saying this; they are a gateway drug. So great. Now we got kids, you know, sniffing cocaine and doing LSD while <laughs> but it's. Great. But it's legal. But it's legal, and the government's making money from it, so they don't really oh, care. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. State government is making bank on it. Yeah. But, but yeah. that that to me is a bigger problem than vaping. I mean, it's just like when I when I covered that. I don't know if you saw my live. It was a little long, whatever. But the, like the drunkaroos, it's dunkaroos in like that. Hold on, let me pull this up. But, well, I'm not gonna be able to show you in the screen anyway. But if you if you just Google it, drunkaroos, it's you know what Dunkaroos is? It's a little thing. Oh, yeah. It comes a little vanilla frost and you dip it in. Yep. And their argument is that it's for the 90s kids, right? But there's, if if you use that argument that because we're <laughs> older and we'll be able to reference that, Brie was, or the 80s kids, Brie was born late 90s and she knows what it is. So, you know, using using the argument that it's for the adults that still have the kid left in them, I could use that same argument for some of the cereals that were in vaping. That was old. Yeah. So, yeah. You, it, but you're not going to, first off, they're not going to attack alcohol because you're going to lose. 
like oh yeah, you know, just, just, I, that's that's an immediate that they, they already the 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 U the, the U S government already learned their lesson from prohibition. You can't stop right. alcohol. Right. You just can't stop it. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, people are gonna do it anyway. And same thing with vaping. Yeah. People are gonna do it anyway. It's just it's gonna become a lot harder for people to vape than what it is now or what it was that's three okay. years ago. Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder, and this, this, I think this is one of the major reasons. I said this to you in message as well. This is one of the reasons why all these disposable companies have switched tactic, and they're now literally flooding the UK and EU market. Literally flooding. But and there's it's nothing like, how... against. There's nothing against them doing that though in the UK. They're allowed no, there doesn't. to do that. Yeah, they're allowed to. Yeah, but at least for now. For now, they're allowed to. Whether that whether that keeps going into the end of twenty twenty two, I don't know. Because if if UK via get their way, disposables will end up getting banned within a year. So then, what do they expect people to vape with? The type of product you're using now? Yeah, or the little pod kits like Cali Buns or something that you can pop into a local vape shop. Oh, and you get... could do your own juice type of thing versus already having the juice inside of it. Yeah, I yeah. So in, with the with the UK laws, the way that they're set up, the type of pods like the drag, you know, with a little pod on the top, are those uh, allowed? Like oh, yeah. Are... There is. The, there's the, the, the only thing that's not allowed by law in the UK and the European Union, because the TRPR and TPD are exactly the same. It's just worded differently. The only thing that's not allowed is nicotine over 20 milligram, and that covers free base and nick salts. Tanks above two mil capacity, which I think is a fucking stupid idea, but they put it in there anyway. And uh, bottles, bottles of juice that contain nicotine, like, like, like a bot like this, for instance, right? This is a short fill, so I've got to fill this up with nicotine. But because there's no nicotine in it, they can sell bigger bottles. But if your bottle contains nicotine, it can't be over ten mil. That's the only rules in place right so then now. When when these Chinese companies make products, right? Like uh, the new Marvel's S kit, right? That yeah. tank was four mils. Yeah. You get that tank in the mail; it's only two mils. When we get that tank in the mail, it's the same tank that you guys get, but over in China, they put a rubber bong inside it to bring the capacity down to two mil. So then what we do is open the top of the tank up, pull the rubber bung out, and it's back to four mil again. <laughs> <laughs> does the, does legally the UK, speaking, do, you, do you guys get a lot of stuff that's held up, especially you, uh, considering companies are sending you stuff, do you, do you have an issue with customs seizing those and saying, hey, yeah. this is more than two mils or yeah. whatever? This is yeah. more than see, 20 milligrams. See if, see if whoever's filling out the fucking, the, the, the fucking customs form over in right. China right. doesn't fill out the exact EICD number, which is the relevant number for tobacco product directive regulations. If they don't fill out that number, I could be waiting three, four, sometimes five weeks for a package to arrive at my office because customs have got to open up the package over in Heathrow or Stansted, open up the package, look at the device, look at the serial number of the device, then go to the manufacturer, phone the manufacturer, ask them to look up the serial number. And nine times out of 10, if you phone up China, they're not going to answer the phone. <laughs> so it gets delayed and delayed and delayed. And delayed. that's why I'm usually late. Nine, like, half the time, if you see me late with a review, it's because it was held up at customs for about a month and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's and that's kind of the way that it is here. If, if I get products uh, mailed to me as a person, right? <laughs> It's going to be held up at customs. Like I just, I, I recently, uh, very recently, I'd say probably two weeks ago, I've, I had a case and everything with FAA because China sent me a product that had a battery in it. And, Ooh. Um, <laughs> so, uh, long story short, it was whatever it was confiscated, right? That's just, that's, that's what it came down to. But it's the first time that I've ever had to speak to a federal agent on the phone about something yeah. that somebody sent me. And I, I, I just foresee that being a, a very big problem in America. And I know that people are like, oh, vaping is not just about America. That's a, that's a large bracket. And those people are going to go back to smoking cigarettes. They I, are. I, I truly believe that. I do. Yeah, they are. They're going to go back to smoking taxes, cigarettes. But because you have no way to acquire anything. Yeah. 
That's and it. the more people, the more people smoking, the more the tobacco companies get money, and the more master Farm settlement circles. agreement cash. Yeah, and Farm the more master settlement well. agreement people cash. Sick from and, smoking cigarettes, yeah. going to the hospital, medications. Yep. Yep. Whereas here, it's the exact opposite. Because of, because our health service is government funded, the government wants to get rid of smoking. So they're fine with smokers switching to vaping, which means cancer rates go down, which means the NHS and the government's not costing and spending as much money. Yep. Simple as that. Cool. Yeah, Bree just brought up a really good point. Can you say that out loud so he can hear you? Hold on, let me hold the mic over. Go ahead. I said the proposed revenue that they, lie, that they laid out in their nicotine tax proposal doesn't make any sense anymore because it's no longer that type of revenue with everything being banned. So how much yeah. they're going to actually get is like a 1% compared to what it was. Right. It almost yeah. it almost brings up the question like, okay, if it, uh, this is why it points to me that they're approving Juul, right? Like they're, they're putting this bill in so they can tax the shit out of Juul. Out right? of Juul. Yeah. That, 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 that it's just coincidentally <laughs> happening at the same time, whatever. Uh, but you would have been smarter to allow juices tax the shit out of it to no end where it's like, you know what? I don't want to buy this because it's $300 for three milligrams, but at least then now you're making money and whatever people quit vaping. They, they go to the Nicorette patches or whatever, but making that law or making that bill, I don't, I don't think it's passed. Not no, yet. it's just introduced. But um, it doesn't make any sense. It's not going to affect anybody. It's only going to affect Joel or whoever it's gets like, approved by the FDA. It's like when they passed when they passed that tax law. It felt as if they were closing the barn door after the horse had already fled. That's what it felt like. Like why? Why? Are the, this is the question that we were asking. No, it's not just me. There was a bunch of other reviewers in the UK asking why have they passed this tax law when the FDA has already basically instituted a flavor ban. Why, why are they bringing, and you made the point, Jewel, Jewel. these pods are bound to be approved. Oh, so yes. they get slapped with tax and the government gets more money. But it, it, would have been, it would have been far more beneficial to the state treasury if they just said, hey, we're going to let all these e-liquids go out, but we're going to slam you for tax. That way they'd have bought more money in. But they didn't think of it. I, I mean, even even going into look, there are a lot of juice, mar juice juices, and I, I've been saying this for years. There's a lot of juices on the market. People are making in bathtubs, you know, whatever <laughs> buckets. Okay, they do need to be regulated, but not regulated mm. in a sense like where FDA would come out and inspect and say, okay, this is uh, this is good. We see that your HEPA filters, your ISOs are seven. You're good to go. Fine. This is a real lab. Right. This is a real lab versus, you know, yeah. Johnny Walker's five gallon bucket. He's making juice <laughs> in the shed. Uh, right. So make like regulate that in a sense. But now that you've shut down and told all these companies in America, you can no longer manufacture juice. This is your cease and desist. What? What are people going to do? People use the arm, I'm going to do it yourself. But this is serious to all you guys in chat. Like, this is serious. You may not look at it and be like, oh. And that's the problem, right? Like, with the laws, everybody's like, go to these things, sign this petition. You did all that. What happened? Nothing. 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 You filled out all those fucking forms. You, you called all these people. All you did was postpone the inevitability. And now we're at that point where you can't postpone it anymore. You better stock guys. And I'm not talking about stocking up for like a week. Months. And good luck. Finding Months. In fact, yeah, and then now finding nicotine, everything in America is going to the synthetic because, I, but even when you look yeah. at like the tax nicotine, the, the little proposed tax bill that they're doing, they even mention synthetic yeah, nicotine. Like they mention nicotine not derived from a tobacco product. Right. So <laughs> it, no matter what, right. no matter what. So if Jules like, you know what, we're not going to use regular tobacco nicotine, synthetic, it's still taxed. Still so they're closing the synthetic loophole then. Everything. They're just Damn. That's another thing that makes me think they consulted with a vapor on it. Like for the New Jersey law, there's things in there that yeah, you would not that only think a vapor of. would know. Yes. So like uh, like the like uh, the big thing in New Jersey was anything that you can use, okay, like a container. Yeah. The intent of vaping. So let's just say it's whatever, vanilla. And this is chocolate, and then this is PG. All of these, because they're in a bottle, 
right? Whether you mix them together or not, they're vapable, so that's considered an e-liquid. Whether Ooh. there's nicotine in it, it's concentrate. If it's sold in, in a vape shop, or in at least container. 50%, yeah. or at least 50% of your revenue uh, is the selling of this, it's considered yeah. a vape shop. So ideally, you'd want to have like a coffee shop and have this on the side, but that's still not going to help if you sell a lot of this because you're going to sell more money and make more money from this than you are coffee. So it's e-liquid. Yep. And the only way to implement that was somebody that's a vapor on the inside said, listen, you have to do this. You have to do this, this, this. It's all e-liquid. So ban it. You know, and, and Just make sure there's basically close every single loophole. And the, the, yep. if there's one thing about the vaping community, right? See when a law comes out, it's obvious. It's, it's guaranteed somebody will find a loophole. But if, if they come out with something where the loopholes are already closed, yeah, they've talked with people. Absolutely. Yes. Talk with Absolutely. People. Absolutely. They <laughs> talk with people. It's just not going to get any better. I, I do honestly believe that in the future, or maybe two years from now, three years, Juul and all of the uh, the ones that are allowed on the market that got their, you know, PMTAs rocking and rolling, they're going to come out with flavors. It'll be a oh, matter yeah. of time, but there'll be a vanilla tobacco. There'll be... Think about this. You have cherry vanilla tobacco for pipe users. Why wouldn't they yeah. make that for Jewel? Oh, yeah, they're bound to. They'll, oh, they'll sneak it in quietly. Yep, yeah, it'll, 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 quietly. it'll just come out of nowhere. New cherry vanilla Jewel pod. Cool. And, then people... and because the FDA has already approved them, the FDA will just turn around and say, okay, go ahead, then sell your cherry vanilla tobacco. On oh, you go. Sure. We're getting enough of taxes from you. Yeah, you know, we're charging you whatever, ten dollars per pod. And that's even crazy. Yeah. Like the 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 pod of a jewel is gonna be taxed more than actual cigarettes. Like than actual cigarettes. Yeah. 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 Which which quite frankly is fucking scary. That the, there's there's a little there's a little little voice and i usually ignore the little voice in the back of my head because he normally gets me into serious fucking trouble if i see what the little voice says but when i was reading all this about the food and drug administration and then that tax thing came out and i'm like holy fuck look at the numbers the little voice in the back of my head is saying well the food and drug administration has done the democratic party's work in mm -hmm. banning flavors and now the democratic party themselves are putting so much tax on top of e-liquid that they're not directly banning vaping but they may as well do it anyway yeah i mean that is a valid argument but the way that i see it is as long as you could still buy the product if, uh, that's technically not a ban if you can still buy right. it yep sure yep. sure yep. Hey. you need to be fucking rich and sell a kidney to buy it but you can still buy it at least you can still vape <laughs> right right and then uh, what I, I, I all these american come there's so many va vapors that don't even like watch youtube right so it's just i don't know how many people are in here right now we have uh, 418 you take 418 people right but i i'm just gonna spitball numbers say at least five million people vape a lot of those don't watch YouTube. They just go to their local vape store they, or whatever, yep. and that vape store is misinformed or they don't know any of this. So they're not going to spread that awareness, and then people are – that vape shop doesn't exist anymore because the FDA walked in there and said you can't sell any of this shit. And what does that vapor do? That new vapor goes back to smoking. That's it. Yep. Because it's far easier to buy cigarettes than it is to buy vape products in the United States right now. Not true. <laughs> Isn't that true? It's fucking scary. Yeah, because they're going to go to a fucking vape shop scary. and they're going to be like, this is too expensive. Let me go to 7 Eleven. And go buy but, a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, they go to 7 Eleven yeah. and they're like, jewels are $60. You can get a pack of cigarettes for seven. I'll take the cigarettes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think true. I'll just go back to smoking again. Yeah, give me 20 Marlboro. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's safe to assume that that bill will be will go through 100 percent. It will be law. And then I, I I'd say probably within the next two weeks, if I had to give a rough estimate, two weeks, Joel will probably be approved within two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking that as well. Joel, Joel, they're bound to be approved before the winter season hits. Before the end of 2021, they're yep. bound to be approved. Agreed. At least two of them out of the three. At least two out of the three will be approved be a trip if they threw a wrench in it and they said that this nicotine tax only pertains to bottles of juice not to enclosed pods 
that would be a trip and a half. So they're not going to tax. So you're saying that they wouldn't tax Jewel, Jewel's Logix. Jewel's some money, and all of a sudden, yeah. it's only going to be bottles of tea liquid that are taxed. Because the table that we saw does start at 30 ml. You know? I, I, well, 15. I, I, oh, think, yeah. I, I think the argument at that point saying that Jewel will be excluded, but you can't sell regular. Well, I guess just, uh, okay, so I see what you're looking at is just buying raw nicotine. Not not so much because you can't buy flavors anymore. Right. Yeah, which is even crazier. Yes. Cause in Jersey we had two separate nicotine taxes. We had nicotine tax for enclosed pods or disposable. That's right. And we had a separate tax for e liquid that you would use in a normal device. Right, two different taxes. It was right. it was uh ten cents per mill, but then there was an additional tax. Was it no the additional tax was for the, the bottles and then the 10 cents per mil was for the pods and I had to do two different tax forms. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they must have talked. Yeah, they talked to somebody because that's a very unusual set of laws. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was a flat. It, it was a flat. I can't remember. I, I guess I could pull up the old tax forms. It was a flat fee for e liquid bottles, but then it was per mil for the pods or it might have been the other way around but either way it right. was two separate taxes in two different forms it wasn't just one form and you had to list it. it it was it was ridiculous it was at a point where i just i don't want to sell you know i don't, I don't want to sell vapes anymore it's it's too much it's just too it's, it's too much of a minefield as well if you oh, get yeah. one little thing wrong the fda will come in will come down and top you like a ton of fucking bricks and you'll end up with fines coming out your rear end so here, here's a true story, right? I'm converting the vape store into an electronic scooter store. So uh, right. about three days in to me doing this, uh, Edison, Edison Health Department comes knocking on the door. Knocking on the door. I'm like, what is this? They got a little badge and shit with a little like, <laughs> with a plastic envelope with your little ID. Get the fuck out of here. So yeah. they knock on the door and they're like, uh, so uh, we, we see that you're a vape store and you're doing construction. I said, what? I said, yeah, you're a vape store. I what? said, no, I'm not. I said, yeah, you're, you're a vape store. You registered as a vape store in New Jersey. I said, I've been closed since 2019. I don't know what paperwork you're looking at. I said, you can come <laughs> in. And they go to step in. And they said, well, where's the vapes? I just told you it's not a vape store. So oh, for fuck's I sake. said, if you look at the, the boxes, there's scooters everywhere. I, what, are, what are we talking about? So uh, the next day comes by, right? They're like, okay, well, we'll just chalk it up. It's not a vape shop, right? That's why I did a little science. It's not a vape shop. Because I it's not a vape shop. Uh, but and then the next day comes by, 8 o'clock in the morning, the health department's back out here. I'm not here. And they take like a, an orange, was it orange or red? Red. A red piece of paper. And basically, uh, and, and it wasn't like a sticky note. The whole thing was a sticker. And it's that sticker shit you can't get off. You know, like once oh, it goes on something. Stuff. Yeah, you need like yeah. 85 razor blades just to take it off. So I, I look at it, and it's basically saying not a vape shop. Uh, inspected this, they inspected that. So it was like the actual health main inspector guy confirming that it's not a vape shop. So if Edison is doing that to me, I promise you that they're doing it to every vape shop. Everybody. Yep. 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 They're doing it to everybody. Yep. So this uh, is this is what th th this is why I said this time, 2022, with everything that's happening right now. And I said this at the end of the what's up. I, I I cannot see how the how the US industry as it stands right now with your brick and mortar store, I can't see how it's gonna survive another year. Shit. I can't see how it's gonna do it. I'd give it six months. Hmm. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and it's like we're over we're over here in the UK. Right, chatting away, chatting away in Facebook groups and all the rest of it, looking at what's happening in the United States and going, how the fuck did it get that bad that fast? Money. Because think about it. Money. One minute Trump was in giving it China and building walls, the next minute Biden comes in and <laughs> boom, everything fucking explodes. It's good old Biden. <laughs> people love Biden, though. They, you know what it is? Like, it's not even a matter of people liking Biden, it's just anything anti-Trump, vote for that. Like, there's no oh, yeah. pro-Biden people. It's just whatever Orange we can man, do to get man. Trump out, we'll take whoever we could we could take at this point. I think if Hillary because Clinton the thing was even a run, they would have elected her over Trump at this point. 
Yep. Yeah. Because here's the thing. I mean, I, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you read this, but there was a couple of vape websites over here in the UK that lifted quotes that Trump was saying about the vaping community right. and the whole protest thing that was going on. And Trump actually said, "I wish." I, Exact quote, I wish I never fucking got involved. Because here's the thing, Trump was after a second term. So he backed off. He backed off when he right. realized something was wrong here. But if you look at Biden, he doesn't even know what fucking day it is, let alone being after a second term. He doesn't even know his term. name, bro. He doesn't even know his name. Doesn't... And if the, if the, if the, the 25th president? Amendment gets if the twenty fifth amendment gets pulled, right, if they pull the 25th Amendment, remove Biden from the presidency, either just before the midterms or just after the midterms, and Kamala Harris becomes the next president, she knows fine well she's not going to get in for a second term oh, either. Hell so you've got no. a vice president and a president. I, there's no one. They're not waiting I, for a second term. There is no, there can't be anybody out there that believes that first off Biden is going to make it his full term. There's no, <laughs> there's no I, way. man, I don't even give him a year. Right. But even <laughs> if Kamala Harris, there's no way she believes that she would get reelected. There, no way. No way. You're doing nothing that is significant. Like this LGBT, don't even get me started. This is, this is going to be a mess across the board. Um, uh, yeah, American so politics, the, the, the vape, everything about America right now, the way people are looking in, we're a joke. We're a joke. It's funny. He's in the basement hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. And for all the... For all the problem, the for all the problems that we may have in the UK when it comes to vaping, it's it's literally a drop in the ocean compared to what's happened in the US over the past five years, especially over the past year. Yeah, the UK's got its problems. It's not big problems, but we've got a little problems. The European Union are they may be banning flavors, they may not be banning flavors, by the looks of it right now, it looks like the EU is going to go down the road of keeping the current TPD2 and just carrying it forward to TPD3. So they're going to keep the 10 mil bottle rule, they're going to keep the 2 mil tank rule, and they're going to keep the 20 milligram limit. But here in the UK, UK via IBVTA and a growing, a growing number of actual politicians, not just conservative, but Labour, Liberal Democrat, what the fuck's left of the Liberal Democrats, and the Greens, not so much the SNP, they're all saying the current restrictions are too tight. You've got to lift the 10 mil bottle rule. You've got to lift the 20 milligram cap rule. You've got to lift the two mil tank capacity rule. And by the looks of it, the Science and Technology Commission, including the all party parliamentary group, which is like a group of politicians from Conservatives, Plaid Cymru from Wales, um, a couple of Northern Irish parties, Scottish National Party, Liberal Democrats, Greens and the Labour, all party parliamentary group. The rumours, and again it's rumours, but the rumours I've been hearing is 70% of the APPG want the 20 milligram cap limit removed, but some of the industry don't. But why though? Like who who vapes that high nicotine? Like what's the point of, I, I, I see that soft cap being fine. I don't see why you would need to raise it. But you know, you well, know here's the entry. You know, you know, what's a good question, though. What happens to the American reviewers, whatever's left of them that do vape reviews? Oh. How are they going to get juice to do the reviews? Or do they just have enough of juice to last whatever, uh, two years? You know, it's not just that. It's not just that. How are they going to get the devices to review? It's already fucking difficult. Yeah, also Seriously devices. Difficult. Yeah, also what devices. Device, you're going to be like, now what do I vape? Right, like what... I, your channel, as you know it, is well dead. I mean, granted, a lot, a lot of not a lot. Maybe most of the reviewers in the United States can probably mix their own liquid, but then they run into the problem of the fucking high nicotine tax. What are they going to do about that? It's yep. like you, th you think you've solved one problem, another one pops up and punches you in the face and goes, "Hi." And, and, I, and I see why, uh, you know, a lot of uh, American vape reviewers have kind of pulled out because it's 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 going to become more difficult to acquire the devices, Much more difficult. get them through customs, especially now that there's FDA yes. pushing it down the throat. These are not approved. I have no idea. I It's about to get really messy. Really. 
even if you really buy your own nasty. products like I do, you're it doesn't make it any better. Because you've still got to get it in through customs if That's you're right. buying it outside the US. That's right. That's right. <sighs> I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. And I think this is, I think this is one of the, I mean, because I, I started seeing this because it used to be the case for a UK reviewer. I don't know how many UK reviewers are what, because I think I've seen Flat Cap in here about half an hour ago, but he'll tell you as well. The UK reviewer as a group were always middle of the list because it used to be the case that when Geek Vape, Aspire, Vapor SO, the big companies were to send out review samples, the United States generally got it first in 2016, 17, 18. Things started changing around about the end of 2019 because we started seeing the UK reviewers getting the review samples before the US. Now we're in 2021. I'm getting items. I'm getting items in that some companies have said in email they are not sending to United States reviewers. Oh, uh, They're that's just not Aspire, sending it Aspire, anymore. Uh, Aspire is one of those companies where even on their Instagram, they list not not for sale to U.S. people. Then yeah. you need to put that on Aspire UK or Aspire EU. Don't put that because mm. you're going to lose a lot of you're going to lose a lot of people because now you've essentially limited yourself to only, you know, the other half of the world. Yeah. I, <laughs> wow I, yeah, I don't know and the other thing the, the, the other thing that I've noticed as well is one country which was generally ignored by marketing like ma the marketing department for the big five like Anakin, Smock, Vapor SO, Geek Vape and Aspire right the big five the one country that was jet they were ignored for years the one thing i've started seeing on instagram with their instagram marketing page is marketing stuff done in russian and russian, russian text and the russian like yeah russian because think about it there are there's not as many vapors in russia as there are and because russia is a big country with a very sure. small population right but the amount of vapors in russia is just under the total amount of vapors in the european union that is a massive untapped market that let's face it china's basically ignored they basically ignored them yeah i mean i can't even i again i really don't follow a lot of russian vapor viewers but i would have, i mean the only one i could think of is alex vapors md whose numbers are all fake but uh <laughs> <laughs> i've never seen somebody with you know whatever 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 he's got four hundred thousand subs and you get you know two thousand views a day yeah that's real um i i don't know many russian i'm sure there is but if what you're saying is true, yeah, it's we, we remove America. But and the, the, the problem that's going to happen is the distributors, right? I don't know how they're going to get products to sell to even brick and mortar stores. How are you going to get those in? So not you only won't. juices locally, but now they have a blacklist of all these companies that did not get PMTAs approved or companies that didn't even submit them. I, I'm not sure if Joy Tech submitted or I, I have not looked for Vaporessa. I'm, I'm interested because I well, remember the, 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 them saying that they were going to submit PMTAs. Yeah, it was Smock. From what I remember, it was Smock Smoor who owns Vaporessa. So Smock Smoor, Anakin, and there was one other. Smock Smoor Anakin. Are you who was Vap the other one? Vap Vaporessa? I know for a fact. Smoor. Right. Yeah. Smoke, I remember Smoke. them saying it. Yep. Yep. Didn't Joy Tech? Joy Tech said it? I, it was on Joy Tech's website. It was on, so that was Joy Tech, Elif, Wismac, I guess. Yeah, the three um, of them. Yeah. I don't think Aspire have said anything about I don't, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen anything with Aspire. Geek but Vape I, haven't said anything either. Is, is Are they on this list? Vaporesso or let me, let me look at this list. They. No. Vapor SO might under might be under Smoor S M O, o, -O. no S M double O R E. That's the parent company. Yeah, it's not on here. Um... <sighs> That's interesting because I remember them showing uh, a copy of the, the... was it the PM? I don't I don't remember what they submitted a copy of on their website. Something for the FDA. Yeah. They definitely submitted, though. I remember Vapor Esso done a big fucking thing about it on their Facebook group and page. Yeah, Rip Trippers. We are submitting all of this. And Rip Trippers promoted it. I remember him doing a That's video. That's right. It was yeah. the promotional. I forgot all about that. 
Yeah, he did a whole video of Vape Wrestle still like trying to change the game, you know, because Vape Wrestle gave him whatever five grand to say. Fucking r- r- the only man that could make money out of something that will collapse the industry eventually. Rip trippers. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta give it to him though. If there's a way to make money, he can fucking find yeah, it. I, I mean, it's a businessman in its truest forms. You know, Jubby, I see you re- asking in question in, in chat. Is there any? Is there absolutely no chance of all this crap getting? There's no way. The overturn? No. No. They would no. have to uh, sue the government and then, or sue the FDA and then win. But even then, if you didn't submit adequate amount of paperwork for your PMTA, good luck, good luck. And here's what the here's what the Food and Drug Administration had basically said. And the 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 the, the two main news sites for vaping here in the UK is Planet of the Vapes, not the forum, the front page website itself, and Esig Click. And both of them, both of the reporters were looking deep into what any quotes that they could find from the temporary lead administrator of the Food and Drug Administration. And what they have, what, what they've basically, what they basically come up with is there was f- something like five, at the time, five million PMTAs were brought in. All of them were basically denied. But if they, they, they dug even deeper and they come up with something I already come up with, would there be a chance of any of this being overturned? If you look at the facts, every single state who's implemented hardline policies against vaping, guaranteed there's a Democratic governor. One or two may be Republican, but the vast majority is a Democratic governor. You have a one-term presidency, whether it's going to be Biden, who's going to go through the whole term, which I highly fucking doubt, or whether it's going to be Biden and Harris. You're looking at a one-term presidency where the incumbent president is not going to get a second term. What What does that president do? That president will put through all of the harsh legislation that the previous incumbent who was looking for a second term, namely Trump, didn't want to handle. This is why Trump backed off. This is why Trump backed off. He was after that second term. And this is why I Trump, said... Trump kind of I just... What, I mean, I, I again, hate to bring in politics, but what Trump needed to do during that uh, his last stint on Twitter is if he just shut up off of Twitter for three three months or four months... Yeah, been fine. <laughs> you just gotta shut up, bro. You gotta just sit down, and you'll be all right. You just because yeah. it was that, that that was the thing about Trump. I, I used to love going onto Twitter and just write. I just think to myself, "What the fuck is Trump type today?" Just for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's basically what politics has become, man. Is a, is a circus. That's what. Look at Biden. Even when he talks, it's just it's all. Oh my god. Bro, it is embarrassing. It is it's oh, so hell, embarrassing. You, you, I don't even like talking about Biden. You, you, it's that embarrassing. You just need to look at our prime minister who was basically called a clone of Donald Trump. The guy looks like he was dragged through a hedge backwards and he's just rolled out of bed half the time when he's on the TV. His hair's late, his hair's like this. <laughs> and he's like, it's like, well, we're in, we've got the same problem here that, we've, that you've got over in the United States. We have, at least here in the UK, no effective opposition. You've got the Conservative Party who have been in power for more than a decade now. They've been through about four prime ministers, but I think that's one of the reasons that vaping here survived because we've had a Conservative centre-right party in power that looked at vaping and went, small businesses are involved, we're going to leave it alone. And I think that's why it survived here for as long as it did. How long does Boris, uh, like, how long do prime ministers last? Do they have a term or is it just indefinite? Just you could just. Um, I think that I think the parliamentary term limit was set in law. The, the Boris Johnson has got to call an election between four and a half to five years into his term. So I think he's got until uh, he's got until twenty twenty four or something like that until the next election here. And can he, 2020, get re- he could get reelected again back into the same position? Oh, yeah. He, he can keep being... Look at Margaret Thatcher. She stayed in power for three elections. Wow. There's, wow. there's no term limits. For, there's no term limits, like the presidential term limit of two terms. There's no limit here in the UK for the prime minister. They can keep being, they could keep being voted in for as long as the party that they stand for or the electorate keep voting them for. There's no term limits. Wow. 
Wow, I can imagine. That's why that. Thatcher. That's why Thatcher hung on for almost fifteen years. Oh, almost shit. fifteen years. And why did she? Why did she get out of office? She just died. No, she was thrown out by the Conservative cabinet because she made a couple of very bad decisions tax-wise and the Conservative party themselves kicked her out. Because that's the one thing that the parties here can do. The, 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 the cabinet, the actual, like the health secretary, the secretary of state, all the head politicians, if there's something like a 90% tally against the sitting prime minister, then what happens is the parliamentary party who's in power can call a vote of no confidence and the whole party can either vote for keeping the current prime minister or vote against keeping the current prime minister. In the can, case of Margaret Thatcher... Can people, huh? like a resident, vote, uh, like try to get somebody, like an impeachment? Can they do that in uh, UK, like impeach Boris Johnson or no? We don't technically have an impeachment process here. Everything so you done... just get what you get. That's it. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't have a choice. Parliament... You got to roll with the punches. Like that's it. The parliamentary, the parliamentary system is different, way, way different than the system over in the United States. Yeah, that's crazy. Way different. That's yeah. We don't like somebody. But, you could do. I mean, you could fill out paperwork, but it's gonna go nowhere. It, it's. <laughs> It's like now they got I, they they got this petition thing. I, I I don't know where you stand with advocacy, but I think you're basically on the same plane I am. That it's it's a joke, right? That's it's what. Oh it yeah, is. advocacy. I've been saying it for five years now. Advocacy has been done wrong in the United States from the beginning. If they went down the road, if the original advocacy groups went down the road, the UK went down half a decade ago, you may be, I'm not saying you would be, but you may be in a slightly better position. Maybe. Well, I'm going to say definitely would be in a different position. <laughs> if, they took, if they took all the money that they, you know, had to pay their employees with and, and, and put that towards campaign donations, we would be in a different scenario right now. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. And the other thing as well, the, the, the biggest difference between UK and US advocacy is the UK, the UK industry itself got their act together within the space of seven months. And they formed the IB. I think the IBVTA was the first trade group established here in the UK. Then UK Via popped in. And UK Via, Inneken, Aspire, Geekbait, Vandivate, Smoor, which covers Vaporesso, and a fucking a shitload of other Chinese companies, along with Vaporized, all the big distributors, and a couple of politicians as well, they make up UK Via as a trade group. So when the Science and Tech Commission sit down in the House of Commons and you've got politicians who have fucking zero clue about vaping. It's the same here. They don't have a fucking clue. But they are they are legally obligated to sit down in a commission discussion that's televised publicly and they sit down with the New Nicotine Alliance, Action for Smoking and Health, Public Health England, UK Via, the IBVTA, and then the Royal College of Physicians have to sit in there as well. See, like you even saying that, like all of them sitting down and speaking to, you know, the head of state or whatever, when when America, I don't know if they, if Kassar has ever sat down or Safada, well, Kassar wouldn't really do it, Safada or, or VTA has ever sat down in front of a bunch of senators of Congress and explained, I don't think that has ever happened. I, that I happened to you, that happened. But I can't remember one time where I saw vta versus you know united states I, I i may be wrong but no well it's it's been almost almost with the exception of last year because of the whole fucking uh, pandemic and shit but every it's been it's been every year since 2015 those groups have sat in a table for three separate discussions every single year with the science and tech commission to speak only about vaping the vaping industry, how vaping is helping people give up smoking. Yeah, that you've got action in smoking and health who half the time are against vaping and half the time they're for vaping. But the minute someone from action in smoking and health stands up and says, think of the children, look at all the teens vaping. One of the trade groups pop up and say, we've got numbers here that says, you're lying. Shut up and sit the fuck down and let the adults talk. 
That's why we get basically left alone. So are you do you hear a lot of that in UK, the team vaping argument that they use in the States? They tried it two years ago. They failed because the Royal College and Public Health England and Public Health England's owned by the National Health Service, right? Public Health England came out with numbers that completely obliterated the numbers that Ash came out with. Ash were saying teen smoking rates were up by 50, or not teen smoking, teen vaping rates were up by 55% in England alone. Public Health England, who actually done numbers themselves, came up and said, it's only up 11%. And out of those 11, out of that 11% increase, less than 1% continued to vape for more than 30 days right yeah because they were using the argument of people just trying it and those are considered yeah. vapors. you know it, but you yep. know what my argument would be if if i was in a, a political position like that is would you rather so here, here's what i would say and I, I get it i might get shit for this but would you rather a kid vape or smoke, smoke. cigarettes pick your yep. battle like pick yep. which okay if we're worried about the health of people what are you more concerned with? Like, which one's worse for your health? Okay, that's the one. But again, because you have a, a public health system where everybody can go to the doctor, ours being private, it, it, yeah, it doesn't work like that because the government has nothing like, to do with our medical bills. Nothing. Yeah, it works like that here. If, if I think what's going to start happening, this is for England, it's not so much up here in Scotland because we're lagging behind because the SNP have got fucking independence fever again. Freedom, for fuck's sake. But I think it's happening down in England. I think by the end of 2022, I think this is a rumour right now, but I've been seeing more and more stop smoking services down south actually mention this. By the end of 2022, it may come to a point where a smoker a smoker can walk into the doctor and say, doctor, I've tried the patches, I've tried the gum, I've tried the nicotine spray, I've tried fucking aromatherapy, nothing worked. What else have you got? The rumour is a doctor here in the U, well, down south in England, right, can then write out a £25 voucher, give it to that smoker and say, take that to your local vape wow. shop and see what they can do. Wow. Now, it's a rumour, but if the rumour is true, that's going to be put into place by the end of 2022. The NHS itself paying for vape devices so that's, for so smoke. That's badass, and then I would take that voucher and cash it in with the government. Yeah, see, that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Yep. Whether it happens or not, it's a different story. But the way things are looking right now, the UK government, not so much the government itself, they've got to remain neutral, but everything owned by the government, stop smoking services, doctors, nurses, Royal College of Physicians, Royal College of Midwives, Royal College of General Practitioners, the entire Royal College establishment, all the public health workers. Hell, there's fucking vape shops and hospitals for fuck's sake. That just says it all. Happen. <laughs> not in America. No fucking way. It'll be crazy is when pharmaceutical gets involved with vaping and then they start making vape products and then those are purchasable at, you know, your, your local convenience store. That'll be nice. That, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I don't get me wrong. We've got the local convenience, like our, our version of 7-Elevens. They're called premium stores here. But yeah, you've got Blue, you've got Vipe, which is basically Views, but you've got Blue, you've got Vipe, all the little disposables, but that's always going to be there. That's always going to be a bit. The difference is... In every major town and city, every and this is this is a relatively medium-sized town. It's not the biggest town in the West Coast, but every major town and city, you've got at least two vape shops on the high street. At least two. You can get off the bus, not the bus, you can get off the train if you want to take public transport. You can get off the train in Glasgow's central station, which is right in the middle of Glasgow. Walk out the Union Street side entrance. And within one mile, in fact, not even one mile, it's fucking half a mile, like half a kilometre stretch of Union Street, there's seven vape shops. Wow. Seven. One after another. And they don't, and none of those sell uh, juice with nicotine in it. You'd have to all get short fills. Yeah, short fills. It's all short fills. Mm -hmm. Well, VPZ, VPZ sell little 10 mil bottles of like tobacco at 18 milligram. That's for the people that are just coming off of smoking that want a pod kit. They want the throat hit as well. But basically they're all, they're all selling short fills. 
<laughs> Wait, so why do they? Why is it okay for them to sell the tobacco with the 18 milligrams in it? Is it different for non-flavors that you could have nicotine in it already? Oh no, the the, on, the only rule is if you've got if you're selling e-liquid. Oh, nicotine add a 10 mil bottle. It. I get it. So 10 mil yeah. bottle, you could get three milligrams. Or you could... Oh, yeah. Oh! I was unaware of that. That's, so you could get a 10 mil that. bottle with six milligrams, and that's totally legal. Oh, yeah. That's legal. So then, so then, okay, so then my argument would be, aside from just getting a bigger bottle, why couldn't you just buy five 10 milligram bottles for the same price that you would buy a 60 mil with nicotine? Because this, because you can't buy, like, here's the thing, right? This is, this is black vine that I use all the time from Rochford Project. Short fill 50 mil bottle. If he was to buy these, the problem, the problem with the 10 mil limit on nicotine liquids is if you if you were a vape shop or an e-liquid company in the UK and I think it covers in the EU as well and you were to register the 10 mil bottle like let's say it's 10 mil of golden virginia tobacco or 10 mil of blue raspberry flavor at three milligram you need to test it test it for what it just a general test through a local lab to see that the ingredients inside the bottle are, are what the ingredients say they are. This is why it's only the big companies like Vaporize that have got something like, like something like 180 chain stores. Yeah, it's just easier big... to do the short fill because then you don't have to Yeah, it's easier it. to do the short fill because it's... short fills go through a very rudimentary test where it's like, yeah, that's VG, go ahead. But 10 mil with nicotine, you've got to go through the ISO lab testing for uh, that. Oh, uh, see, I was going to say it would just make sense for all these big companies to just uh, sell a bunch of 10 mils. I mean, 10 mils is small, though. You're. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 10 mils is way too I'm small. I'm going to do like 10 so mils in 10 minutes. And I just. And this is this is why normally when you go to a, a, a site like Rochford or Decadent Vapor that also do short fills, what they generally tend to do is when they're shipping you, let's say you do an order for five bottles of black vine, which is like fifty, which is like fifty mil a piece. Right. Some not not all shops, but some shops they chuck in the short fill nicotine for free. There you go. There's the nicotine. Mix That's it yourself. Nice. That's nice. And, yeah. the, and the nicotine on the short fill is just what? Just raw nicotine, PG base? It's usually it's usually VG based or PG based nicotine. You get the bot you get the 10 mil bottle of nicotine, dump it in the 50 mil bottle, and it turns the 50 mil into three milligram. Or six if you put two bottles in. And but then a, you start running out of space. And the 10 mil is filled or it it's a 10 mil bottle but only half filled? Is it filled to the brim? It's filled. Oh, it's filled. So this is why. Okay. This is why with the. This is why when I when I get Do you one of these bottles. Have a short fill bottle with you or no? No, nah, they're all up in the studio. It's just it's just a little ten mil. Just a is little ten mil juice bottle. It, or is it just a? Oh yeah, there's labels on it. Oh, there is. Yeah. Warning labels. This contains nicotine. All the and legal much, stuff on it as well. And how much would the nicotine be if you were to let's just say six milligrams versus three milligrams? Is there a difference in price of that short fill? Normally, if, like, let's say someone was going to buy a, a 50 mil short fill bottle and they wanted, and you're forced to buy the short, you're forced to buy the nicotine right. shot, right? Normally, it's a flat base cost of a pound for the nicotine shot. That's it? That's it. Just a pound. Sometimes a pound 50, but normally a pound. And you just pop the top of your bottle off, pop the top of your 10 mil off, dump it, shake it, done. Wow. Simple as that. Wow. There's always loopholes. There's always fucking loopholes. Not in America. <laughs> Not in America. Because we can't even have a fucking short fill. So, it... yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's time for me. Like this you. is why we all sit over here and go, what the fuck is happening over there? Fucking seriously. And they write these laws so it's it's almost impossible. I mean, obviously, there's loopholes in everything. But my mm. God, whoever is writing these vape laws and these bills, I'm telling you, they got somebody on payroll that just... Maybe it's an, another American vape reviewer. Maybe that's what it is. 
<laughs> they've got, they've, they, they must have somebody there that knows vaping, the ins and outs of vaping, and they know as a vapor how to work around the yep. loopholes. Because yep. if you look over here to the TPD and TRPR, the TRPR and the TPD it is ridden with loopholes all fucking over the place, which is one of the reasons the EU want to tighten the regulations up a bit. But over here in the UK, we, we spotted the loopholes as far back as 2016. That's how the short fill market got born. Short fills popped up within a month and a half of the TPD2 dropping into law. A month and a half. It's nuts. <sighs> well, thank you for coming on, Dick. Thank you for that. That was a lot of fun. That, that was a bit fun. depressing, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. It was. started off shitty, but nothing against you about your shitty group. Uh, <laughs> not even your shitty group. Some shitty person in your group. I shouldn't <laughs> lump you all into one. But thank you for coming by, brother. I appreciate that. It's always, always joyous to have you. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, it was a lot of fun being on, Jay. A lot of fun. Absolutely. All right, everybody else, thank you all for showing up. Vic, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Oh, I got something I got to send you to, but you know that. That's already... That's, yep. Yeah. Yep. Be excited. Okay, other than that, you guys be good. Vic, stay beautiful. Catch you later, folks. All right.